it's like it just <laughs> you come out straight to all that chunk but it's way smoother on this bike hey berm chasing here and welcome back to the channel if you missed my first jones mill video be sure to check that out where i ride the same trail solo on a rigid single speed today swoop and i are both on scott bikes we got a good one for you so let's get it track stand oh what do you think I'm on my Scott Spark 970 full suspension, and Swoop is on a scale hardtail. An XC style bike is perfect for this trail, with just enough travel to take the edge off and save your wrist, without taking too much away on the climbs. You won't find much in the way of jumps or gaps, but very little of the trail is boring to ride. Nice. <laughs> Made it. If you come to Jones, bring a fighting spirit. It's not that any one of the climbs are too difficult, but altogether, it makes for a challenge. Or I was just out of shape. I went on a group night ride a few nights ago, and I realized I'm quick enough to hold my own on the downhills. But punchy climbs and cardio are where I lose all my time. If you want 10 miles of single track for a solid workout, Seriously consider these trails. So we're on the blue trail now. There was just the... What happened? Oh, you wanna get them? Swoop is then taking photos of various plants and animals and submitting them to INA, the data science app for nature. Which one? Ah, cool. Jones Mills is perfect for spotting some rare plants. And sometimes it's worth it to stop and smell the flowers. And no better time than fixing chain issues. Unfortunately, this was fairly common with my old 2 by setup. Upgrading to the SRAM 1x basically eliminated that issue. Won't you kiss me one, Just a kiss goodnight, you and I will Sick. <laughs> I like to think we've both gotten better since we filmed this in April. It's almost the new year now, and watching the footage back, it's clear we've improved our bike control. But that isn't to say we were too bad then, either. Lost my chain. Yep. Right when I was going off the gap. Yeah, that went better. Well, some of those drops you really could do. Yeah, I know. If we were sessioning, I mean, they're pretty hard. Ooh. Not where I wanted to be. Yep, that's good. Oh. That's an ankle killer right here. Oh, yeah. Trying to roll off this thing to the left. Roll off it? Yeah. I don't know if we can get up it. You can. Can I cheat? Yeah. Okay. Just power it. You just go. Watch this. Wall ride. Yeah, I don't know if that's what that's meant to be or not. If you only ride flow trails, there's something different about chunky single track with optional sidelines. It's not something I want to do every day, but it's an important and fun part of riding. Oh, 
I'm still not great, but... <laughs> Nicely done. Just slightly better, but I could have done even more. Yeah, yeah, that was great. That was great. Yeah. Drops are something that we've really been working on. It takes a good bit of practice to get the speed and timing right, especially on natural terrain like rocks. There are some wooden drops at local trails like Lock 4 or Chickasaw Trace that allow for a more controlled progression. All right, straight. So now we're to the island part. Tight fit. <laughs> the island, more of a peninsula, isn't unlike the rest of the trail, but there's something about it that just feels a bit different. All right. Riding at Jones Mills, bashing through rocks, both ways feeling uphill, breathing out monoxide, aching for the fall, I don't take a day off, rolling through the woods in the deer's neighborhoods, I'm slaying on the trails in April, feels so good, just out there with my girl, ride hard enough, you'll hurl. In just one session, I'll teach you a lesson. We pick that plural. This part of Jones is relentless rock bashing. You never really get a chance to look ahead because the next feature is already there. Even on the full suspension with Hyper Smooth on the GoPro, you can still see the footage got quite a bit of jitter. There are sections of smooth dirt, so you could be more methodical than I'm choosing to be. But if you have good tires, smash it. Smash. Smash. Smash the like button, please, good sir. Man, it kind of sucks. In mountain biking, you gotta count the small victories. A little bit of pain and suffering pays off when you finally clear the line. Go fast. Hey. <laughs> Nicely done. That was sick! Yeah! <sighs> uh, okay, well, nerves on this one, but we thought about it and we went, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Nicely done. I was like, I'm a pedal harder. I was like, did it. Yeah, I still <laughs> fell off of that first thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna let you show me up. I'm sorry. <laughs> cool. Oh! Yeah, I'm good. Wow.
course that won't show up on GoPro. Little mud pit. Jump it. And once again, we were on the back end of the trail system. With little more to go, we had to keep the energy up to get back to the truck. Mountain biking trails like this are great for developing that push to finish. Sure, biking helps overall physical fitness, but more than that, the trails teach mental toughness and vision. Being able to still focus when you're exhausted is vital to a successful ride. Nice ride. 